2024. So on May 15th, we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, moving into Taurus energy. Okay, so let's backtrack for a second. We've had Mercury in Aries energy, a fresh, clean start, the very first sign of the zodiac wheel for months because Mercury came all the way up to that 27th degree in Aries energy and then went retrograde. And of course, that retrograde happened smack dab in the middle of eclipse season and it has shaken us, it has stirred us, it has disoriented us to put us in a different frame of mind. Of course, we had Mercury go direct in this Aries energy around that 15th degree. It's taken a couple of weeks to get up to full speed. And we just had Mercury clear his post retrograde shadow period here on the 13th when he hit that 27th degree that we initially went retrograde in. So we only had about a couple of days, realistically, maybe two full days of having a forward thinking clarity in that Aries energy. And again, reminder, if you need to go back, take a listen to what Mercury and Aries was all about, definitely go ahead and do that. But to summarize, it was a fresh, clean slate where new thoughts, new ideas, a new direction, new path, new chapter was definitely popping off and trying to get initiated. But of course, we got derailed by that eclipse energy, by that retrograde energy. We had to go back, review a couple of things, reflect on who it is that we once were, on the ideas that we once had, the vision, the goals, the dreams that existed when that old version of self was alive and well. Of course, the clip season brought this new version of self out to play. We had to have that retrograde in order for us to reframe who it is that we are now, what it is that we want to do, what it is that we want to accomplish. And in true Zodiac fashion, when we move on into Taurus energy from Aries energy, we ground ourselves out. We anchor ourselves. We move from that pinball machine popping off and bouncing around in our mental plane with Mercury being in Aries energy. We stabilize. Taurus energy is a fixed earth sign. Fixed signs stabilize. And so we may have been jumping around in our mental plane. We may have been, you know, tossing certain ideas, dreams, goals, visions back and forth and really having a hard time aligning with a particular choice point. However, this Taurus energy, we're going to pick one. We're going to stick with it and we're going to put the blinders on. We're going to get tunnel vision in on it. We are going to get logical and practical with our plan, with our path, with our strategy on how it is that we are going to essentially assert ourselves out in the world, especially when Mars in Aries energy is going to kind of help us out in that arena to initiate the, I'm going to call it beginning steps and stages of these new ideas of this new vision, of this new goal, of this new dream. Taurus energy is where we bring things to life. So we're bringing something out of our mental plane and we're trying to materialize it. We're trying to manifest it. We're trying to give it some sort of physical form in our present moment, in our reality, in our here and now. So first of all, having tunnel vision goggles on means that we are super hyper focused on what needs to be done. We are thinking more in a, let's call it logical, practical, deliberate mind state than, you know, vision and fantasy and the what ifs and the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Taurus energy is matter of fact. So we're dealing with what we have in front of us, the options, the opportunities, the clarity that we currently have, the information, the details that we currently have, we're trying to bring it into form. And so again, Taurus energy being an earth sign, we're going low and slow. Okay, this is not going to be any kind of fast development, any kind of overnight success. We're going very low, very slow, very steady, not only in our thoughts, but in our energy and our actions to align the mind, body and soul to actually start bringing things to life. And so we are very down to earth. We are very grounded in our approach and our thinking. We are, again, just using what we have available to us or in front of us. We're not going beyond what could be. We're not fantasizing. We're not using our imagination. That's not what Taurus energy is all about. This is about the physical realm. This is about the matter of fact. We're still very connected to the five senses, which means that we're very much counting on our physical body response to some of the thoughts, the ideas, the dreams, the visions, the goals that we're currently percolating on in our mind space in order to figure out what it is that we're being called away from 
and what it is that we're being called closer to. So we're going to be a little bit more deliberate with our thoughts. We're going to be a little bit more focused with our thoughts. We're going to be even more deliberate with our words because of course, Mercury rules over communication. And so what that means is, is that we are more likely to only want to have conversations that bring worth and value to the current situation and circumstance. Meaning we're not talking just to hear ourselves talk. We're not, you know, going out in the world and socializing and collaborating if it doesn't mean furthering our goals. There is a very specific purpose, if you will, to our conversations, to our questions, to our interactions than ever before. And again, because we have the tunnel vision goggles on, we have a specific goal that we're trying to reach through asking these questions or researching or exploring information and details in order to further expand on our ideas, our visions, our dreams, our goals. And so this is gonna be a time where we're a little bit more simple in our thoughts and our ideas, a little bit more simple in our conversations. Uh, there's a beautiful simplicity that comes with just focusing in on what needs to be talked about, what needs to be researched, what needs to be explored in order for us to again arrive at a decision point, arrive at a choice point. Now, of course, there is a little bit of a con energy that we could tap into here, which means that maybe the tunnel vision goggles are on so tightly that we don't stop to check what's going on outside of our peripherals, meaning we're so hyper focused on doing things a certain way or doing things in a certain, you know, system a certain method, if you will, that we miss the opportunity to be just as efficient and end up at our end goal by exploring different options and opportunities that may be kind of waving for our attention, but we don't see them because we're hyper focused on what we think needs to happen. And so, you know, that tunnel vision can be a little bit dangerous because it puts us in a rigidity in our thinking. It locks us into things needing to go a very certain specific way. And of course, that has a whole lot of energy to set us up for disappointment. Again, there could be a faster path, a more efficient path, an easier path, a more graceful path to getting to where it is that we want to go. But we may be missing those particular opportunities if we don't take the tunnel vision goggles down every now and then and take a good look around of what's going on while we're very hyper focused on this one thing. So rigidity in our thinking, being stuck and stubborn, again, Taurus energy, very stubborn energy. Uh, once we kind of have a decision made or a certain thought process down to a T, we tend to not want to deviate from that, even if we are presented with a different option and opportunity to get to where it is that we want to go just in a different way. And so this is a slow way of getting to where it is that we want to go. And if you rush yourself, if you pressurize yourself, you are going to create more friction than anything else. If you are too rigid in your thinking, too rigid in your thoughts, you're going to miss a lot of beautiful opportunities to kind of take a deep tour and explore, if you will. And we just need to kind of understand that with Mercury and Taurus energy, common sense is coming back. We need to all really appreciate that although it's probably not gonna last very long. However, there is a stronger sense of common sense that kicks in when we are in an earth sign and especially in Taurus energy, we are just getting down to the nitty gritty to the most simple basic concepts out there and the most simple basic way of computing how it is that we get from A to B. And so of course, we have to strike a balance in everything that we do. So the whole point here is yes, put those tunnel vision goggles on, get focused on your to-do list, get very tunnel vision on what it is that you have to do, what you have to build, what you have to create, what you have to initiate, what you have to explore, but take the blinders off every now and then and take a good look around to see what's going on around you while you are hyper-focused on this one thing. Again, we don't want to miss any opportunities going on out around us to kind of explore different paths, different avenues, different ways from getting from where it is that we currently are to where it is that we desire to be. 